Hey, it's 838 right now. Get ready, cooking show fans. The new season of Top Chef is almost here, debuting this Thursday on Bravo. Extra reason to be excited this season. Portlanders, you have a good reason to watch. Uh, check this out. Bam! Top Chef is back. 15 of the country's best chefs have traveled to Portland, Oregon for what will surely be an epic culinary showdown where it's at, right? Top Chef Portland is the series to first season since the pandemic began. And hey, two local chefs are taking part in the competition, including Gabriel Pascusi, head chef of Portland's Mama Bird, and Sarah Hammond, the head chef at Soder Vineyards in Carlton. And Sarah joining us live right now to give us a preview of this exciting new season. Hey, Sarah, good, good morning. morning. Good morning. How are you? Oh, we're great. We're so excited for you. Okay, so you grew up in California, as a lot of us did, myself <laughs> included. Uh, but you now live in Portland, and it seems like you probably, you know, have really uh, just embracing the Rose City. You love it here. I do. I love it. I grew up in Southern California, so I didn't really have seasons growing up. So the fact that I have seasons now is kind of amazing. <laughs> that is what I always tell people. That's, that's what I say thing. too, coming yeah. from Florida. Same, yeah. same thing. Mm -hmm. Now tell us a little bit about your style of cooking. I was, I was reading a little bit about your background. You've gotten to study in some really fantastic places and spend some time in Spain. You, you have quite the, the worldly <laughs> influence on your cuisine. I do. You know, I think because I have a lot of different influences culturally in the way that I cook, I'm definitely bringing um, a little bit of wild and craziness to the season. <laughs> I think uh, no one can really pinpoint me as to what, what I'm super good at, but uh, I think it uh, definitely gives me a little bit of an upper hand to have some uh, some different influences there. It's good oh, edge. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So one of your favorite ingredients is yogurt, and <laughs> you're going to be demonstrating how to make a, a yogurt mousse. I believe we have some on the set. Yes, or is this into some samples? Yeah. I'm so excited yes. to try. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, I thought why not make dessert for breakfast? And of course you can have dessert for breakfast when there's yogurt in it. <laughs> of course. Um, it. So it's super easy recipe. It's just white chocolate and a little bit of milk that's melted down together. Um, I just melted on my stove with a little hot pot of water and a metal bowl. And then uh, once you've got your melted chocolate and milk, you just add in some cold yogurt. This is gonna help it set up super fast when the yogurt's really cold like this. And then just give it a whisk. And honestly, that's it. You can add some vanilla extract if you want. Um, you can add, I don't know, chocolate chips if you really wanted to get it crazy. But I like to keep it nice and plain. I like to also use full fat yogurt. It just gives it a little bit of uh, extra creaminess. Oh, I like your style. Mm -hmm. And you top yeah. this with some little mandarin slices and a, and a sesame crisp. This is like gourmet oh. granola. I know. Gour gourmet <laughs> parfait over here. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's my other secret too, is that if you ever need little crunchies for your dessert, all I do is melt white chocolate and get some Rice Krispies, or you can get the brown Rice Krispies mm -hmm. and just mix it together, put it flat on a tray and stick it in the freezer. You can add, like I did, mm. black sesame seeds. Super delicious, very oh. crunchy and That's really so easy. I okay. mean, yes. this is my kind of breakfast uh -huh. right here. I mean, uh -huh. <laughs> For sure. Honestly, this is literally a dessert that you can make in five minutes. I already made the mousse. Mm -hmm. It'll set up a little bit uh, thicker if you put it in the fridge, but I just pop some oranges on there. There you go. And then finish with my Krispies. Oh, and so you nice. have a dessert so in like 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Could yeah. be a decadent breakfast or a nice light uh, summer dessert. I, I love it. Now, okay, I'm curious, had you already been in the process of of, of talking to Top Chef, like trying to do the show before Portland was kind of chosen as the location for this season? Um, yeah, I'm kind of a weird case in that they approached me when I was still living in San Francisco and it just was never the right time for me. I had a really great job that I couldn't pass up. So finally uh, this year they contacted me again. And like I said, timing for me is everything and <laughs> so I just went for it I jumped in the deep end <laughs> well we're so glad you did mm -hmm. now what was your experience like as a contestant 
Uh, I had a really great experience for me. Um, I'm pretty shy and <laughs> reserved. So it really brought me out of my shell and it's been such an integral part of me growing uh, in the last few months since uh, filming's ended to really start trying to advance my career and just take those extra hard steps that maybe aren't so hard anymore. <laughs> yeah. After, like wearing my heart on my sleeve on television. <laughs> I would imagine it is quite the confidence booster, that's for sure. I mm -hmm. am sure you did fantastic. I cannot wait to watch and see how you did and, and see Oregon and Portland take center stage here. It's gonna be such a cool show. Mm -hmm. Hey, we're out of time, but I do wanna mention, I know you're doing a um, an Earth Day virtual cooking class coming up to support the Wave Foundation. So we're gonna put all the details for that if people wanna sign up and, and join Sarah on coin.com. Thank you so much for joining us, Chef Sarah Holman. We appreciate it. And we're looking forward to seeing oh. you on TV. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. <laughs>